Francisco Javier Varela Garcia, September 7, 1946 to May 28, 2001, was a Chilean biologist, philosopher, and neuroscientist who, together with his mentor Humberto Maturana, is best known for introducing the concept of autopoiesis to biology and for co-founding the Mind and Life Institute to promote dialogue between science and Buddhism. Topic: Life and career. Varela was born in 1946 in Santiago in Chile, the son of Karina Maria Elena Garcia Tapia and Raúl Andrés Varela Rodríguez. After completing secondary school at the Liceo Alemán del Verbo Divino in Santiago 1951 like his mentor Humberto Maturana, Varela temporarily studied medicine at the Pontifical Catholic University of Chile and graduated with a degree in biology from the University of Chile. He later obtained a Ph.D. in biology at Harvard University. His thesis, defended in 1970 and supervised by Torsten Wiesel, was titled Insect Retinas, Information Processing in the Compound Eye. After the 1973 military coup led by Augusto Pinochet, Varela and his family spent seven years in exile in the United States before he returned to Chile to become a professor of biology at the Universidad de Chile. Varela became familiar, by practice, with Tibetan Buddhism in the 1970s, initially studying, together with Knt Shen Goba ne Ezekiel Hernandez Urdaneta, with the meditation master Chogyam Trungpa Rinpoche, founder of Vajradhatu and Shambhala training, and later with Tulku Urjian Rinpoche, a Nepalese meditation master of higher tantras. In 1986, he settled in France, where he first taught cognitive science and epistemology at the École Polytechnique, and later neuroscience at the University of Paris. From 1988 until his death, he led a research group, as director of research at the CNRS Centre National de Recherche Scientifique. In 1987, Varela, along with R. Adam Engel, founded the Mind and Life Institute, initially to sponsor a series of dialogues between scientists and the Dalai Lama about the relationship between modern science and Buddhism. The institute continues today as a major nexus for such dialogue as well as promoting and supporting multidisciplinary scientific investigation in mind sciences, contemplative scholarship and practice and related areas in the interface of science with meditation and other contemplative practices, especially Buddhist practices. Varela died in 2001 in Paris of hepatitis C after having written an account of his his 1998 liver transplant. Varela had four children, including the actress, environmental spokesperson, and model Leonor Varela. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Work and legacy. Varela was trained as a biologist, mathematician and philosopher through the influence of different teachers, Humberto Maturana and Torsten Wiesel. He wrote and edited a number of books and numerous journal articles in biology, neurology, cognitive science, mathematics, and philosophy. He founded, with others, the Integral Institute, a think tank dedicated to the cross-fertilization of ideas and disciplines. Varela supported embodied philosophy, viewing human cognition and consciousness in terms of the inactive structures in which they arise. These comprise the body as a biological system and as personally experienced and the physical world with which it interacts. Varela's work popularized within the field of neuroscience the concept of neurophenomenology. 
This concept combined the phenomenology of Edmund Husserl and of Maurice Merleau-Ponty, with first-person science. Neurophenomenology requires observers to examine their own conscious experience using scientifically verifiable methods. In the 1996 popular book The Web of Life, A New Scientific Understanding of Living Systems, physicist Fritjof Capra makes extensive reference to Varela and Maturana's theory of autopoiesis as part of a new, systems-based scientific approach for describing the interrelationships and interdependence of psychological, biological, physical, social, and cultural phenomena. Written for a general audience, The Web of Life helped popularize the work of Varela and Maturana, as well as that of Ilya Prigogin and Gregory Battison. Varela's 1991 book Embodied Cognition, co authored with Evan Thompson and Eleanor Roche, is considered a classic in the field of cognitive science, offering pioneering phenomenological connections and introducing the Buddhism informed anactivist and embodied cognition approach. A revised edition of Embodied Cognition was published in 2017, featuring substantive introductions by the surviving authors, as well as a preface by John Kabat-Zinn. <laughs> Publications Varela wrote numerous books and articles. Topic. Books 1979. Principles of Biological Autonomy. North Holland. 1980 with Humberto Maturana. Autopoiesis and Cognition, The Realization of the Living. Boston, Rydell. 1987. Rev. 1992, 1998 with Maturana. The Tree of Knowledge, The Biological Roots of Human Understanding. Boston, Shambhala Press. ISBN 978-0877736424 Canetra, Less Sciences Cognitives, Tendences et Perspectives. Editions du Soy, Paris. 1991 Rev 2017 with Evan Thompson and Eleanor Roche The Embodied Mind Cognitive Science and Human Experience MIT Press ISBN 9780262720212192 with P Borgine EDS Towards a Practice of Autonomous Systems, the First European Conference on Artificial Life. MIT Press. 1992 with J. Hayward, eds. Gentle Bridges, Dialogues Between the Cognitive Sciences and the Buddhist Tradition. Boston, Shambhala Press. 1993 with D. Stein, eds. Thinking About Biology, An Introduction to Theoretical Biology. Addison Wesley, SFI Series on Complexity. 1997 ed. Sleeping, Dreaming and Dying, An Exploration of Consciousness with the Dalai Lama. Boston, Wisdom Books. 1999. Ethical Know-How, Action, Wisdom and Cognition. Stanford University Press. 1999 with J. Shear, eds. The View from Within, First-Person Methodologies in the Study of Consciousness. London, Imprint Academic. 1999 with J. Petito, B. Pachoud, and J. M. Roy, eds. Naturalizing Phenomenology, Contemporary Issues in Phenomenology and Cognitive Science. Stanford University Press. Notable articles 
2002 with A. Weber. Life after Kant, Natural Purposes and the Autopoetic Foundations of Biological Individuality. Phenomenology and the Cognitive Sciences I, 97-125, 2002. Topic. See also Autopoiesis Cartesian anxiety Molecular cellular cognition Phenomenology Neurophenomenology Neurodynamics <laughs>